Hello, this is Lance Day with LanceDay.com. I wanted to bring you all a little bit of information about the air conditioning and heating changes regarding Freon. The uh, major change that's going on now is the conversion from R22, which is a type of Freon, to R410A. And um, why are we changing to the R410A? Basically, I just put together a few frequently asked questions. Uh, and why are we changing to R410A? It's because the government says that this uh, R22 is bad for the environment so we're converting and uh, window you have to make the change to R410A equipment you do not have to make the change to R410A equipment um, as of December 2009 they stopped manufacturing all the equipment so what's left is left and then it's going to be all R410A equipment um, how long will R22 be available for existing systems? Um, it's going to be they continue. They'll continue to manufacture it through 2020. They'll just be in smaller amounts, and most people are thinking that the prices are going to get you know significantly higher for that R22. Um, what else do I have here? Uh, do you need to replace you know all your R22 equipment um, at, that's at your property? Absolutely not. If you have an R22 system and it's working fine, you can continue to keep it and uh, R22 will be available. They'll be able to pump it in there um, with no problem. How long will the parts be available for R22 equipment operating currently? Uh, there's no plans on um, you know halting the um, production of parts so they can maintenance the existing R22 systems. However, they will begin to lower the production and you'll most likely see those prices uh, start to rise uh, significantly over the next couple years. Um, what else do I have here? Uh, will existing R22, uh, let's see, I don't want that one. Are there any electrical concerns if you were to upgrade your system from an R22 to an R410A system? Um, the answer is possibly. Most situations where we've uh, upgraded and we haven't had any issue, if your existing R22 system is at the, the kind of the, the high end as far as what it's charging on your uh, the amperage, uh, then the uh, R410A system might be a little much for because it, it does uh, require a little bit more amperage. Um, for budgeting purposes, if you're going to replace your system, you should probably, cons uh, it's going to be 10 to 20 percent more for the equipment if you're going to install a new system to go with the R410A system. Um, that's the basics about it. Long story short, if you're going to uh, replace your system, we strongly recommend going with an R410A system. Uh, since the uh, Freon's going to be, be are, the old Freon's going to be less available, and the parts are going to get more expensive, it's worth it just to spend a, a little extra on the system and get that new R410A system. If you have additional questions, um, then uh, shoot me an email to lance at lancedaycom and always feel free to friend me at uh, on my Facebook page. Thanks a lot.